old ladies like Betty don't just go missing. Australia's a big country. She could be anywhere. Trekking through the bush. Or, what's it? Scuba diving in the Great Barrier Reef. Finally emerging like Venus, rising from the waves. <laughs> For goodness sake, Sandy. Am I the only one that's worried about her? Maybe someone should call Kathy. Ideally, somebody with disregard for their phone bill. Yeah, I already have, like a million times. No need. She'll be off on some exotic island somewhere, knocking back pina coladas. There's tinnies in us. They drink tinnies. Ice cold lager. The minute she gets your messages, she'll be in touch. What a terrible state to get yourself into. Yes. And I fear we haven't seen the worst of it yet. It's heartbreaking. If she carries on like this, she'll have it by Christmas. Yeah, thanks for that sympathetic and insightful contribution, Victoria. Oh, go away. I know you're not happy about what I did. Oh, you spoil everything. Oh, no, she didn't, Sam, so stop exaggerating. Oh, you can use as many big words as you like. She still should have kept her neb out. Done to your face, Law. I walked into a pheasant feeder at work. Why'd you do it, Lacey? Why'd you splag on us to Jay? It stopped us from leaving. Who's done what? She did it for your own good, Sam, and Rachel's. The best place for you, love, is here. Where your family are all around and we can all look out for you. I'm not a kid! I'm a grown-up with a family of my own! Anybody want to fill me in here? I can look out for myself! And now you've knackered me life and Rachel's and Archie's and Samson's. I flaming hate you, Lisa. Good day, Covers. <laughs> you come halfway across the world for a drink, and this is the welcome you get. <laughs> Have you missed me? So it was you who arranged for the van to take stuff. Well, they weren't that keen, seeing as I was phoning for a horse. But Cathy scanned me the form. So. And um, I told them what I wanted to sell and um, where we kept the spare key. We all know where you keep the spare key, Betty. They were supposed to call ahead and let you know. Well, maybe they just left a message with Andy and he fell back to sleep. What the heck is Andy doing sleeping at my house? Ah, that would be Andy, also known as Goldilocks. He's just moved in for a bit to sort himself out. You had every chance to let me know about this. I have been emailing you left, right and centre. I emailed you from Singapore Airport twice. Um, Victoria? Well, she sent me that many when she first went away. I kind of just marked them as junk. <gasps> I brought you a didgeridoo all the way from Australia. And you junked me. She's been worried sick trying to get a hold of you. Oh, no, she has time she got worried about my whereabouts was when my knickknacks went missing. Harsh, but fair. Nonsense. We just assumed you were having such a good time, you've forgotten about us. We have, Mr. Gibete, loads. No, you haven't. As far as your lot are concerned, it's out of sight and out of mind. Well, I was out to know you'd want to sell your stuff. And more to the point, though. Why? Oh, I had my reasons. <laughs> Plenty of them. But I will not be divulging them to you. It's true what they say, isn't it, eh? <laughs> Never trust a pom. Betty, if you want me, I'll be at the B&B. Not that any of you gives a dingo's backside. <laughs> <laughs> 